What's going on, everybody? This is a segment from the Nerdgasm Talk podcast. If you like podcasts, well, why don't you come join us as the crew gets silly and filly while we sit and talk about the latest in comics, games, movies, and all things pop culture. You guys can listen to our whole show on all the podcasts that's we're on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, wherever you guys get your podcasts from. And make sure you guys also support the channel by subscribing to the Nerd Coalition Studios. And for the gaming needs, make sure you subscribe to Nerd Coalition level up this is the nerd coalition hope you guys enjoyed the show and now feel the nerdgasm me and swag had started this last week and i just want to go into when it comes to the trailers of the week uh say real quick uh we had two main trailers that came out that was i mean of course a lot more trailers came out but what we seen what we're going to talk about is two things and it, it you might as well call it a jonathan majors week yeah because they're getting paid this they, that, that boy get that boy about to make some money in uh in 2023 coming up because we got Ant Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania and then mm-hmm. we have Creed three. Which one we get into first, Wade? Uh, I would say Ant Man. Okay, so the Ant Man trailer came out. Okay, here's the thing: the one you sent me, I didn't want to even say it's in the video. I just I reacted to it, so check out my reaction. Oh, the leaked one. The the leaked I mean, one was I'm, better I'm than the this leaked one because we didn't we didn't leak it. We didn't leak it. Uh, Disney, we didn't leak it at all. We we did we did. It was just there. I, I tripped. Yeah yeah yeah. I I, 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 I was like, oops. Exactly. <laughs> but am I wrong to say that that trailer was better than the one that we got? I think that was oh. more intense. And, yeah, only because uh, of the dialogue. Yeah. yeah. More intense, and then I think it was like maybe that's too intense for our first Kang interaction. He was talking some shit that in that in that other one. I was just like, I was like, I was looking for that line to talk about. Didn't I kill you before? Or they all kind of just run together. I was like, ooh, and I I, I was like, go ahead. Oh my bad. I I was hoping to see Ant Man all bloodied. And I was like, because I was like, dang, Kane put the hands on him. Yeah. <laughs> maybe for a trailer, too, or an official trailer or something. Yeah, maybe. you got to make us scared. I've never seen Ant-Man like that. <laughs> it, exactly. Dang. And I was just like, oh, okay. Well, I was like, well, after, you know, unfortunately seeing that and seeing this, I was like, okay, it's cool. I like to see, I got to see Michelle Pfeiffer back. And, you know, it's, just, it's like, well, we went from Ant-Man trying to save shit to his daughter fucking shit up. I'm just like, yeah, well, why are you touching this? I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest. I didn't like the trailer. Mm. Okay, explain. Why not? It was a cool trailer, but it it didn't really get me excited for the movie. It just got me excited for Kang. Like I want to watch the whole movie, not just be excited for this one character. Because like when he's going around, he's like, "Oh, I'm I'm Dunkin' Donuts, I'm Baskin Robbins, what I'm cool." And then uh, when they was when they was having a little thing, she was like, "Turn it off now!" And I was like, "Well, okay." And then they just in this area. It looks like Guardians of the Galaxy, which is cool, but for some reason, it just it, it just didn't connect for me. It just wasn't connected for me. And maybe that's just thing I have with trailers where I like trailers to jump out at me. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe I just was uh, disconnected from this one. Okay. I mean, I, I can respect that. I I, I can't say that. Also, I I am going in here being very hype on Kang. Not so saying, am I. Yeah, and Michelle Pfeiffer. I'm a Michelle Pfeiffer fan, but I, uh, it's it, I can understand it, it being Ant Man and a Wasp. I can understand everybody's just not like you know. Oh, snap! It's Ant Man and a Wasp. It's like you know, yeah, this ain't the movie you expect to be intense. Yeah, so and yeah as this, important as it's going to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this ain't Wakanda forever. You know, what I'm saying and that, and that, and that, and that's that's how that is. But and then again, most people like as much as they do have shows, a lot of people don't watch the show, so most people don't even know who Kang is. To begin exactly, mm-hmm. exactly. And I was like, because because yeah, because we watched Loki, we was hype about the Loki thing, but him uh, became. But I I do agree with both you and Prime and Swag on this one. When it came to, you know, bring certain excitement, but you can't be too dark. And then I can understand why you wouldn't like it in the first place. Because in my personal opinion, we can't, for the trailers that we saw, I thought the Creed one was better. Yeah. Now, I'll say this real quick about uh, Ant-Man. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, Ant-Man yeah. and Wasp. Because we did get a small Easter eggs of stuff that happened prior to um, in the MCU. Like, if you look, if you really pay attention... The whole like Kang like city thing, 
It yeah. looked like it had the ten rings all around it. Uh, the uh, Shang Chi rings. Yeah, and as well as uh, Kamala's anklets or uh, gauntlets. It, that, it, you know, it is a, it is a possibility that you know what that's what new rock stars is for. And then I was sitting there, I was like. I was like, this is why we needed a blueprint. Because it brought me back to that uh, one podcast we had where you was like, you was confused with everything that was going on. And I was like, we're only confused because we don't have a blueprint. Yeah. And I feel like if we had that blueprint, we could spot them out more. And now that we know, okay, this is multiverse centered, we could like, okay, I see that. I see that. I see that. So these are where the stuff starting to connect. Yeah. And, and also this is going to be the first movie beginning off Phase Five, right? And 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 I think fa- they're giving Phase Five a better identity than they did Phase Four. I still think Phase Four was still, out of all the phases, not the best one. Mm-hmm. Was I, it not I, the best because it wasn't connected or what? I mean, it was still connected. I'm just saying, it's like this: if you if you rank, when I say not the best, I'm not saying this is the worst phase. I'm just saying if you had to rank them, right? Do I, mm-hmm. I, I love some a lot of movies that was in there, but I was like, if I had to rank them. Phase four will be at the bottom of my ranking. Yeah, gotcha. I would argue phase two, but well, we could talk about that in another, I, 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 in another. I mean, well, you know, cause shit, phase phase two be, could be tied with that also. But you know, phase three and phase one is like y'all was at y'all a game. Y'all was bringing, y'all was bringing it. Yeah, especially phase three, y'all was bringing it. You know what I'm saying? So I I, I can understand that, but I, but right now it does make me still kind of excited. I just want to see Kane. I want to see Jonathan Majors do good. You know, and I want to see this other version because it's it's Nathaniel Richards in this movie, right? Uh, That's what they have him listed as. Oh, it does. Yes, on IMDb. Okay, I didn't know that. I was just like, "Oh, that's interesting." I'm gonna need more information about uh, Kang. Yeah, going into this. Well, well we already know we, we, he, he got he got thousands of different versions of himself. So. Yeah. So that, that, that's gonna be interesting in itself. And like I said, people, it's gonna make people like, "Hey, go go back and check out that Loki, y'all. Go back and check out Loki." Yeah. Um. Then we had Creed three. I I am a fan of Creed movies. At first, I did they would be able to, to do them, and then I was like, "Yo, they have proven me wrong." Creed three now is going to be directed by Michael B. Jordan. He's the director of this one. Uh, no sly in this one. It's going to be all the Creed thing. And I was just like, "All right, so is it going to be Mr. T's son?" But no, we getting some close though, because I was like, his background that he had. From the first mm-hmm. Creep movie, I was like, I wonder if that's going to ever come back. And it damn sure did. <laughs> it, it, it came back in the form of Jonathan Majors. I mean, boy, out there looking swole. You know what I'm I mean, like, look horrifying. Yeah, it, bro. <laughs> and you guys, I was like, oh, the Avengers are done. It, 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 <laughs> I'm just like, y- y'all guys, so I seen this man in Lovecraft Country. Okay, I'm like, this man, he was cut, right? But now this man is swole. Yeah, like he, his medallion is getting lost and sitting on his chest right now. You know? Yeah, yeah but like I ain't even in the same uh, class to fight. Are you worried about what was know, Drago right? the, the in the first, same the class? First, yeah, the first two movies. I I'm, like, I'm just saying. Hey, Drago was like a class. foot taller than he was. I don't got nothing to do with weight. That man was punching you brought they was no they was nowhere to say well, of course Drago outweighed him. That has a lot of things to do with weight. Height has a lot of things to do with weight. The taller you are, the more you even out when it comes to your weight. It ain't got nothing to do with how skinny or how fat the person is. It's like, you know, uh, you know what? For a side note, remember, remember we, 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 we was talking about wrestling? And, and I was, we was talking about Braun Strowman. I don't think he could pick up Omos. And he was like, well, he picked up Otis. Here's the thing. Otis is so small and compact. That's why he. That's why his weight looks like. That. That's why he's like three sixty something. But since Omos is seven foot three, his weight. Oh, he's four hundred some pounds. Now, if he was five eight five, now he'd be like this big, morbidly obese fat guy. The the height even the the, the the taller you are, the heavier you're going to be as well. It comes with a lot of weight. Even the even the uh. Tallest skinny guy that was in the Rivers Believe It or Not Museum, who was like eight foot eleven, he was like over oh, four hundred some pounds. Cause how big he big he is. Drago looked down on Adonis, so he he's he's hella heavier than Adonis. He wouldn't even be in his weight class. 
John the Major will be will be more in more in his weight class than than Draco would have been. Still don't mean Dots won't get his he's gonna get fucked up. Because that that man is playing from I was in prison for eighteen years. And everything that you got, that was supposed to be me. Is this Creed now? Yeah, Creed three. Have you, have, did you see, see see that trailer? No, I have not. Okay. I'm surprised because I thought you were seeing Jonathan Majors in this. That's what I was like, I was like, boy, swoop. I don't gotta click it to look at him. <laughs> <laughs> that man was beasty. Yeah, I was like, I, I was like, boy. He go come in there. I was just like, nah, it's a, it's a simple Rocky Formula movie. But I'm like, yo, wouldn't it be crazy? Because yeah, if he like just won and the movie ended like that, that would be hilarious. Like that takes some balls, Michael B. Jordan. Like, like he just won. Like, hey, he put a dance in retirement. <laughs> it's like bad he guy won. He it's just won. Right. him crying at the grave. But I'm dangerous. Nah, bro. He need he got to have some redemption from uh, and what's that's going to be movie? the new Rocky movie, Jonathan Majors versus Sister Long. Sister Long, yeah. and it, it's going to be Jonathan Majors collecting bodies. <laughs> yo, then, that would be I, funny. Rocky yo, Seven. Wait, wait, what if they do? Because you heard about the Drago movie. Yeah, can well, we not do that? Or well, you know, nobody wants to see Drago, but and then Drago might actually fight Jonathan Majors to end it all. He's like, yo, you got to do it. He, he knocking out you. Honestly, out everybody. Me personally, if you if y'all had balls, I would make him win in Creed three. And Sylvester Stallone was talking about ending Rocky, so why not do Rocky seven, but do the Rocky four storyline? Mm-hmm. Do do the Rocky four storyline, but at Rocky seven because he said, look, he want to hang Rocky up. Then you know I what? Kill him. I mean, we don't know if he dies in this or not, though. Rocky's not in this. He's not in the movie at all. Yeah, exactly. We don't know if he dies in this or not. They he mentioned them. I don't think they said. Tessa Thompson would be like, "What happened to your white uncle?" Uh, look, be like, oh, he could have died. He died know? off screen. That's look, yeah. messed up. No, no, okay, no, no. Hey, y'all both know this. Everybody on this podcast knows this. So that's just you not, not killed on slide like I know. that. I know. Okay, and, I mean, it'd be funny like, oh yeah, he died on the bed. No, no, no. He looks like no. He going, he going to be a dad. I'm guaranteed that's what he's going to say. He went to go be a dad to his son. You well, ain't killing off, Rock, you ain't killing off Rocky like that. There would be uh, a revolt down South Philly. They almost and, did in the first one. Yeah, but he's in there. Yeah, he's in but there that, to die, and, I, and I, he should have died in the first and, one. Yeah, he got his Oscar, <laughs> <laughs> but he did. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah. But now I'm just like so. If, if, if you're going to kill Rocky, well, it's going to be on Stallone's terms. Okay, that's his character. This, this is his franchise. Well, well hold up now, because he, he ain't in this. He ain't write it, so I mean... Prime. He don't I have mean, to sign off on it, is what I'm saying. You're not Prime, kill- I want you to understand something. Yeah. <laughs> there is a statue of this man who is a fictional character in front of our art museum this is a world-renowned art museum and people call it the rocky steps that ain't that's that's y'all fault yes it was not our fault i mean personally. yeah we we ain't really got too many choices we got to see. <laughs> we just here <laughs> they not they not finna end this on without this no, man's input it, 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 you, 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 this you is say, larger than him at this point everybody say you're saying on his terms bro this is his world this is his friend stallone create that's why he still got the money rocky is his thing he has created this thing there is no creed because you have to create apollo creed there is the it's not that so you don't whether he's not he's a producer on the movie with all ryan coogler mm-hmm. okay so you, that's not what the, he he just put his name on it. Yeah, I'm have, just saying you can just put. He has no input. Is what I'm saying. I'm We're aware because yeah. Spike Lee been slapping his name on shit. Yeah. He obviously <laughs> ain't had no input in for years. Yeah, exactly. You right. You're absolutely right. Something she probably need to stop slapping. He his needs name to on. stop. He don't say he stop slapping his name on some of those things, but they're they're not going. I'm, I'm telling you, they're not. I I, I, I know I, they're not going to what I'm saying. If they wanted to, they could. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like it's his intellectual property. I don't know if he would he would let it go down like that. I think you talking the man that was just mad because he found out they was making a Drago movie. Uh, I was gonna say that. Yeah, he was mad. I guarantee. I don't know how far that project gonna go. 
See the Creed what thing. I'm is saying still- he don't even need to. He don't even need to sign off anymore for them to do other things. What I'm saying. But yeah. I, okay, so let's put it this way: I don't think that Michael B. Jordan. No, I think he has the respect. Yeah, I think he yeah. would be like, no, I'm not going to do that without his input. Excuse me, sorry. Fair enough, but I, I do think that if they want to do that, have a Rocky Seven, and then. Jonathan Majors kills Rocky to the point where it's just like, all right, Creed Four, I come back and take this guy out. Wasn't what's the one in two thousand six? Rocky Balboa. That was the, the, the Rocky Six. Wasn't he seventy in that? No, he was in the sixties. He was old. I think that used to be a running joke on the Ducks. It was like Rocky Balboa, the or Rocky Six. Rocky yeah. takes retirement or something shit like that. Rocky <laughs> fights at the retirement home. It was something wild, and I was like, you know what, you're right. <laughs> Yeah, You're so, right. I mean, so let it, it die, Rocky. So it, it is a possibility because, I mean, that would take some balls to do. But it, if Creed does it, the, the I'm not from the. I don't, I'm not from the watch Sylvester Stallone with no shirt in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> not doing that. I don't think Sylvester Stallone is fitting to watch Sylvester Stallone with no Look, shirt. Sylvester Stallone better get a couple movies. Out. He better get that Rocky Seven, and Expendables Four out and call it a day. Bro, okay. You see, he did Rambo the last one. So why? Yeah. Wait, you I Rambo asked- Home Alone? That's what that was. Rainbow CGI. And he, he kept a shirt on for most of it. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> yeah, this is obvious. So I, I'm, I'm just saying. It's a, and it, if I'm, he don't just ride into the sunset with the Expendables and call it a but day. The, but what I'm saying is he ain't got he even got a he don't even got to die in the ring. He can just get like he he, he, he come out and shoot a South Philly be like and then he just get <laughs> okay because what and he just get killed by John the Major then you know, the dies get all mad. And then get all worked up. Now, if Adonis just, you know, loses and then does the Rocky formula and does his training montage and comes back Please and don't. beats him, then you got to end Creed now. Please. Then you have to end Creed now. You know what I'm saying? Unless they do Creed 4 and have his daughter, because they showed his daughter training in there, like like with him in the punching bag. This could just the be it. They just baby? do a trilogy and keep it as a trilogy. I agree with you on that one, Prime. Keep it as a trilogy and call it a day. But I mean, I don't need to see no Drago story. I don't need to see no Clever Lane story. And his, do- and his daughter deaf. Don't mean she can't hit? I didn't. <laughs> it's not. I'm just asking for context here. Yes. Okay.